massachusetts.biz and massdvds.co.uk higher mathematics lesson 22 part 5 and this last part on transformations we're going to look at combinations of transformations translate flag A by the vector 2, 4 and label it B so we take this point and go along 2 and go up 4 and then I think we can see where the other points go to so that's going to be flag B with a rule I should do that of course translate flag B by the vector 7 minus 5 so again let's just take that point and move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 one, two, three, four, five. Really? It's going to be off the page. Never mind. So it goes like that. So let's label it C. Describe fully the transformation that goes from C onto A. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, one. Minus 9, 1. Describe fully the transformation. It is a translation. Translation by the vector. Okay. Let's look at something else while we're at it. If we look at these two vectors here, we add them together we get 9 minus 1 which is in fact the vector that goes straight from A to C so this answer is the vector that goes from C to A which is in fact as you can see just going the opposite way rotate A 180 degrees about the point 1 naught and label it B now if I rotate it, that point is going to end up there, and that point is going to end up there, and that point is going to end up, ah, I've lost that one, that's my ruler. You can do this with 180 degrees. Just go straight through the centre rotation and find it where it is. It's over there. There we go. Up, 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 up. That's it there. So the flag ends up like that. Let's check that with a bit of tracing paper, shall we? tracing paper needs to be big enough to get the dot the centre rotation which is just about it and the shape itself so that always be compass there it is good job I checked it Dear, oh dear. Okay, so the points were all right, but I didn't quite think about the joining up very well, did I? So this is my flag here. So tracing paper is not a bad idea at all to check things, is it? So that's B. Okay, translate. B by the vector minus 5, 1. So that point there is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the whole flag is going to end up here. Uh, and it's called C then. Fully Describe fully the single transformation A onto C. Well that's actually a rotation. C 
see. It's 180 degrees, I can see that. I'm pretty sure I can see where the centre rotation is actually. Let's see how good I am this time. Well, that's better. Right. So, there we are. Describe fully the single transformation A onto C as rotation about the point, central rotation, you can put central rotation if you like, minus one and a half naught of 180 degrees. Direction is irrelevant because it's 180 degrees. Well, there you go. Describe fully the single transformation equal to a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So, with any shape whatsoever, I might as well use this one because it just happens to be in front of me, I'll do the rotation of 180 degrees, I'll follow it by a reflection in the x-axis and then I'll see if I can figure out what one single transformation that is. So rotating this 180 degrees about the origin, let's see if I can do it a bit better than I did last time. Because it's 180 degrees, then I can just say that point there will end up over there. That point there, going through the central rotation, will end up over there. That point there will end up over there. I've lost it now, do you know that? Let's get me a piece of tracing paper. Oh, and of course it doesn't reach. Okay, let's try it like this. There's my central rotation. There's my flag. some daft stuff today. Right there. Let's look at my clever quick way again then. Because it wasn't so clever, was it? The bottom of the flag goes there. Top of the flag goes there, that makes sense. The tip of the flag, oh that's where I went wrong, I went too far over didn't I? I should have just gone to there. Anyway, a transformation of a rotation 180 degrees about the origin followed by a reflection in the x-axis. So I've got to reflect this in the x-axis now. So that point ends up there, that point ends up there. That point ends up there. That point ends up there. So this is where the flag is. That's not right, is it? God, dear, oh dear, oh dear. How careless can I be? That's the flag there, isn't it? I hope it's not going to be a day all day like that. Right. Well, the answer's easy, isn't it? It's a reflection in the y-axis. Describe a single transformation that's equal to those two. A reflection in the y-axis. Well, I hope you appreciate this. It's quite early in the morning and my brain hasn't woken up yet. But I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do it all again. And you can see how one needs to check things. So the tracing paper is a pretty cool idea. Don't be frightened to ask. Please, can I have some tracing paper? Lesson 22, Part 5.